Hi everybody, now I'm recording this video on the 19th of April 2023, so you may well have noticed that recently the style of my thumbnails has changed. I've gone from like having box art with some text explaining what the video is about, to having these photorealistic images with text explaining what the video is about, and I flick things over to the other way. So I thought in this video I'd show you how I create these photorealistic images using the Mid Journey AI. Um, because it's really easy to do and it's quite addictive. So what is Mid Journey? Mid Journey is a AI that can create images, can be photorealistic, could be in many, many different styles. Um, and I'll put a link in the description below this video. Go over there. Um, you can read the FAQs, you can join the beta, you can uh, go to the Discord and you get quite a few free goes. But I highly recommend if you find it useful, um, create a paid account because once you've got a paid account, you can then communicate with the Midjourney bot via a private message in Discord, which means you can then easily track variations and create variations and do upscales and everything like that. And it also gives you access to um, kind of your account page where you can kind of have all your, your, it's not all of your creations, it's the creations that you've generally upscaled as well. So you can go back and refer to them and see what prompts you'd used. And my, my technique is to create the background images and then I go into Photoshop and I just add the text, which you know you can do with lots and lots of different apps. Um, so what's the kind of process I do? So if we take, for example, uh, this video that I've just done. So this video was about how to stream from your uh, Xbox to Twitch, YouTube and Kick all at the same time. So I kind of have a think about what I want the thumbnail to be. And in this case, I thought, well, we should probably have someone streaming, shouldn't we? So I go into my Mid Journey bot Discord chat. Um, and all you do is you kind of type slash imagine like that. And then you, you type your prompt, whatever that will be. Now let's get rid of that because I don't want it to create anymore. So for, to start off to create this kind of set of images here, so it kind of gives you a choice of four. I typed rear view of gaming streamer sitting at desk with three monitors. Dramatic lighting, photorealistic, Eastern European style, Kodak color, uh, color Kodak portrait film. So that last bit there is kind of so that lots of my thumbnails kind of have a similar feel. And then at the end, we've got a couple of instructions for it as well. We've got um, dash dash version five. Um, so it tells it to use the version 5 version of Mid Journey, which creates photorealistic images. And then the aspect ratio is 7.4, which is which is kind of the HD aspect ratio. It also gives me a little bit of um, elbow room for cropping and moving for getting the text in. And so it came up with, with this particular set of images, which are pretty cool. Um, but the beauty with this is that you can go through and you can create variations. So we had that one. Then I thought, okay, so let's do one with a female gamer. And uh, it came up with these ones. And I thought, oh, okay, they're interesting. But then I saw this one on the bottom right and thought, ah, oh, the side view. The side view's better. Um, and so what I did was I also did a couple of variations where it was squares just to see if they were better for cropping, but they weren't. So then I changed the prompt to have a side view of a streamer. And then we got all these up. And I thought, ah, oh, that one there, top right is good. And if there's one you particularly like, you can say upscale it for me and it would create a full res version of it. Um, you can also say, create me variations of a particular, like one, two, three or four. Or you can say, have another go. So I quite like that one as well. So it created variations of these. And again, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. So I thought, well, let's look at variations of that other one. And again, these are pretty good. Yeah, I like these. These Probably that top right on one uh, might have been okay. But the problem is, see the wires coming from the wrong place on the headphones. So it probably have to have been that one there. But, you know, it's all about variations. So let's go back and let's have a... You, you put a guy in it and see what they look like again these are all very very usable and I'm just looking for one that catches my eye so now we've uh, just put in Asian just to get a different different view different feel again they're all absolutely fantastic these and then we've got again another lady very nice um, and then we've got another variation there again I'm just looking for something that really catches my eye 
just going through and just changing the prompts slightly so here we go we got side view of beautiful smiling indian female gaming the problem is when i did this again the ai started turning the head of the subject which i wasn't that i didn't really want that so then we got down to this one here and i thought yeah this is it this, this is this is what i'm looking for this looks really cool i like the lighting i like the style there's plenty of space for text on the left hand side without doing too much um zooming and cropping so i've upscaled that one and then if we go to photoshop you can see that's the one i've used um, and it really is 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 that good however the thing i'd say again is that if you are chundering through versions like that you're probably fine on the basic plan if you produce a fair number of videos a month you'll run out of generations because it really is quite addictive this and the more you use it and the more you realize what you can do um, as you try and funnel down to get almost exactly what you're looking for in terms of an image you'll you'll find you'll probably want to go to the standard um, plan um, where you get lots and lots of where you get unlimited relaxed generations and 15 hours worth of uh, fast generations and you might say well that's quite a lot of money is it $30 a month but imagine you had to pay someone to create this image you know I mean to, to create a photographer to create that image I mean you couldn't do it could you? you know it would cost you hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, to create a graphic artist to create that one image it's gonna it's gonna cost you at least 50 bucks probably isn't it I, I, I would have thought um, now we've also got some other variations here that I produced just to have a look um, and then you may well say well what happens if I want to create a thumbnail but with a likeness of someone or something in this case we've got um, Claire Redfield from Resident Evil so what you can do here is if you go to Google and do a search for so for example Claire Redfield Resident Evil screenshot and then get an image and then copy it uh, and then paste it into your discord you can then use the link for that as a reference so once you've done that you can then say uh, imagine like so and you get the prompt up and then you paste the link in and then you put in the other thing so dramatic lighting photorealistic eastern european style etc version 5 dash dash ar74 again we won't do it here because i don't want it to do any more um, and then you it will create images based on your reference image now it won't copy exactly things so if i put a photo of someone here it won't create exact copies but it will do things that are pretty close so again these are very interesting um, in terms of variations so what I did with this one so there's Claire Redfield then I said well I'll tell you what why don't we take Claire Redfield and add the prompt about gaming streamers sitting at desk with three monitors etc and this was quite interesting we got this up so again we got um, a fella version of Claire Redfield there not completely usable I think I would have to play around with the prompts a little bit more to get to, to get more out of it again these these are these are pretty good yeah i mean that they look great <laughs> i say pretty good they look amazing really um and then we've got these ones again i probably would add something like um smiling or with you know a, a, a less serious look on her face so that's kind of how i did those and then while i was at it i thought well tell you what let's use that base image just to create some photorealistic images of um for, for daisy so for example we've added beautiful female survive in dirty clothes zombie apocalypse background is a forest photorealistic eastern european style color codec portrait film and we've got these pop up and i think you know these these look great don't they the only thing that worries me in terms of using them for a uh, thumbnail for, for youtube is that they're a bit bloody um, we probably don't want to have blood we could have dirt but we don't want to have sort of graphic violence really here's some more here again these look great don't they in fact let's show you a big version and as you can see it doesn't look exactly like Claire Redfield but it, you know it's similar and we've got some more there got some more there loads of different ones and then because i wanted a full length shot i uploaded a, a full length sort of picture of claire but this is where you kind of come across these problems you sometimes get with the ai where it's creating very very nice images but for some reason it was chopping her head off so we did this one again but for some reason it was chopping her head off um, until we got to these and then we were getting the full length body shot out of it that way and again these ones for some reason it decided to chop her head off 
similar with these and then we go back to those um, in fact, if we open these in the browser you can get a better look so sometimes when you use reference images the AI kind of gets a little bit obsessed with what that image is and in fact with these although I've said photorealistic they look more like computer graphics so it's not something I, I would probably use but I think you can agree if we scroll back up a little bit you know things like this these are absolutely uh, absolutely amazing I mean and for 30 bucks a month I think it's well worth at least having a go having a trial do it for a month see how you feel um, will it make the performance of my videos any better um, that's to be seen um, mainly having different thumbnails improves the click-through rate of things doesn't it that, that's why you do it it makes it more enticing for people to click through them I now I know that I prefer the look of these thumbnails to my old ones um, so I'm gonna do the full month of these then I'm gonna look at some stats to see if it ever made any difference but I enjoy the process of doing it and I think by keeping the text on the left hand side in my you know the font that I use I think probably st still people could still identify these videos as scale speeder videos um, but but we'll see but anyway that's how you use mid journey I'd highly recommend you give it a go uh, for creating things um, if you're creating more complicated uh, subjects than sort of portraits of people it can take quite a few different prompts to kind of get get what you want um, but you know if you've got a pay plan you can keep doing it. it's very easy and you can come up with some some really quite stunning and amazing images anyway that's enough from me hope you found this video useful if you have hit like if you want to see what some if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon